how do you integrate different technologies into your application when you want to process some data are you using any frameworks or are you using any design patterns and you have written any custom code in order to process them let's see what are the different enterprise integration patterns which are available and what are the different frameworks which are currently present and which are popular and we can see how we can use them or which one to choose based on your current application usage press the bell icon on the youtube app and never miss any update from tech primers so what are enterprise integration patterns let's consider an application in order to process data in an application we will be consuming messages of a database or from a file system or from messaging queues or even from the http urls generally we have connectivity to the databases using jdbc connections or any different adapters or if you want to process files such as csv files or xml files we have different custom implementations for all these components for example for queues in order to connect to active mq you have a different implementation in order to connect to rabbit mq you have a dip different implementation in order to connect to enterprise messaging buses you have some different implementation similarly these are different flows which we integrate into our application and we have different code specific to these implementation after we consume messages of these flows we transform these messages and we process these messages once we process them again we need to push these into a flow right either it could be a database or creating files again or pushing it to another queue or publishing messages via some rest endpoints or http endpoints this is what a small microservice or a small application does right even if it is a monolith it is going to do the same so if you see the life cycle of an application it is going to consume messages of a particular flow and these flows are specific to different technologies like database is a different technology file system is a different technology queues are different and http protocols are different so we have different technologies which we integrate into an application and every time you integrate these flows into an application we need to write some custom code for doing that let's say for database we write or we use the jdbc template which is there provided by different frameworks same way for files we have a different framework for queues we have different framework for every each and every technology we have a different framework and library which we had been using it what if we combine these together that is what integration frameworks are integration frameworks are something which provides flows and libraries and apis out of the box for integrating applications with different technologies these are called integration patterns there are lots of tools available or lots of frameworks available to be precise which we can use for getting these integration out of the box instead of writing libraries or custom code in order to plug in our flows or different technologies into our application we can adopt to these frameworks which are already written by enterprise companies to make our workload simpler so that we can concentrate only on the transformation and the processing logic rather than concentrating on the flow integration so there are three popular frameworks which we are going to see in this particular video and we are going to see how that will fit into our current use case where you can use it whether it will make sense to use in our current flow the first one is spring integration if you are already familiar with spring integration spring integration is doing the same thing which we showed it is providing lots of apis and libraries by default to connect to different technologies you can directly use either the java configuration in spring boot or the xml configuration in the traditional spring spring framework you can either choose jvm languages like you can either choose java or kotlin because all these run runs on the jvm so you, if you are using a java application and if you want to use spring integration you can choose the java configuration or the xml configuration and you can choose languages like kotlin or java or even groovy and scala 
the next framework is the mule mule is an enterprise service bus unlike spring integration which is just a framework for just integrating the flows mule is a enterprise level service bus component which has integration of these flows as well along with the integration it provides the enterprise service bus functionality as well so mule is a superset of spring the last one is the apache camel apache camel is another library which we can use similar to how we use the spring integration so apache camel provides lots of integration flows which we can use directly and you can plug that into any type of application irrespective of the implementation if you want to integrate spring integration you have to use spring applications if you have to use spring frameworks but in case of apache you can use any framework or any library or any language and then integrate apache camel into that so these are different frameworks which are available currently all these three frameworks provide a ui lots of ides provide support for visualizing the flow like how we saw the diagram with the app and with the integration the incoming flow and the outgoing flow we can come up with this for each of these frameworks with a just a drag and drop functionality and the xmls or the java files are generated out of the box by these ides so which framework to choose and when right the major question arises when you have multiple frameworks when do we need to choose one over other the first one is the spring integration if you are already using spring projects if you are already using spring boot or any spring framework you can easily integrate spring integration into that because spring works very well with the existing spring framework so it takes very less time to just configure spring integration into an existing spring project and you can get your application up and running out of the box and if you are comfortable working with spring then you can directly go for spring integration the community of spring is bigger as well after the adoption of pivotal's integration with spring spring integration is managed by pivotal like how any other spring framework is managed by them spring has recently improved lots of stuff over spring integration in order to provide integration with the spring boot applications initially spring integration used to have xml based configurations however now with the adoption to spring boot and opinionated frameworks spring integration provides how uh, apache used to provide the java based dsls so in spring integration you can do the functional programming style dsls out of the box and all these connectors for http connection or active mq connection or rabbit mq or the mongo database or connecting to any type of database or any type of enterprise connectivity is provided by spring integration out of the box you just need to use that particular connector and then use it the next one is the mule mule is an enterprise service bus as i said earlier it provides more functionality than the integration flows it also has a ui and you can see um, enterprise uh, level support from the mule soft the company which manages mule mule is like a server you will be deploying applications onto the mule server you have lots of monitoring options as well in order to differentiate spring spring integration works like any other jvm it you can integrate it with an existing spring boot application you can get it running out of the box however mule is an enterprise service bus so you will have to deploy into a mule server which you will have to install in your linux machine or in your cloud infrastructure like how you deploy tomcats mule applications run on, run on the mule server so that is a slight differentiation between the uh, spring integration and how mule works spring is completely open source spring integration project is also open source so you can use it without even having to worry about any licensing however for mule soft if you want to get enterprise grade or enterprise level monitoring or api usage then you will have to upgrade it to enterprise certificates which obviously comes with a cost the next one is the apache camel apache camel is another open source library since it is under the apache foundation it is open source similar to how spring integration is the additional stuff about apache camel over spring is there are lots of connector connectors available in apache camel 
because it was created just to solve the problem of integration. Spring provides lots of libraries, but they don't have a dedicated team who works on integration separately. However, Apache Camel was created just to solve the problem of integration. So Apache Camel has lots of connectivity with enterprise grade applications. Like for example, you have connectivity with Jira or uh, any enterprise grade applications. But Spring integration, you have a limited set of connectors. However, Apache Camel provides more than what Spring integration provides. Apart from that, there is no difference between Spring integration and Apache Camel. Apache Camel can be easily used in any standalone Java application, which even if it is not using Spring, you can directly use Apache Camel into that. However, Spring Boot also supports Apache Camel integration out of the box. But if you are already using Spring Boot applications or Spring specific frameworks, it is better to go with Spring integration. However, if you don't have any Spring usage in your application currently, you are good to go with Apache Camel in that case so those are differences between all these uh, three frameworks which are currently popular in the market uh, recently um, one of the viewer had requested me to make a video on apache camel that's when i realized that i need to make people understand what is an integration framework first that is why i have created this introductory video where i just compared these three different integration flows hope you guys understood what are integration flows and why do we need the integration fl flows or why do we need the integration design patterns to be used in our application so what we saw in this particular video was what are enterprise integration patterns so enterprise integration patterns are nothing but common technology integrations which we do to our application in general so and we also saw what are the different frameworks which are available there are three popular frameworks one is the spring integration the next one is the mule server or the mule the last one is the apache camel all these solves the problem of integration by providing predefined connectors which are already implemented and we don't have to re-implement or reinvent the wheel of integration how are these components chosen based on the usage and the based on the type of application which we are going to write or which we have written so we can choose our comfortable framework Hope you guys understood what are enterprise integration patterns. If you like the video, go ahead and like it. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, go ahead and subscribe to it. Meet you again in the next video. Thank you very much.